We are back, Ultimate Masters. It's been a long time coming. This is gonna be our third Masters box for the channel. What's inside? After the break. So here we have Ultimate Masters, the last master set from Wizards of the Coast, allegedly, right? Uh, they're gonna do reprint sense, but in this configuration of the masters, this is gonna be the last one. This is a creme de la creme. Um, now, this box has been sitting with me for about a week now. I didn't exactly strike when the iron was hot. Didn't get this up as, as early as I wanted it to. Been working and, uh, you know, work hard, play hard. I decided to spoil myself this holiday season. And, uh, you know, Probably couldn't afford it, but decided to push it through anyway. I mean, all the hype, we got there. We want some box topper action. We want some lilies. We want some goifs. I believe the time is now to get inside. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Now, this is it gonna be it now, so no more, uh, no more extra takes. So, like I said earlier in the intro, I did work in an insane work schedule. It's Saturday night, I literally just got out of work. Um, honestly, I think this is gonna get probably gonna get weird. Uh, I'm a little loopy right now. I'm super exhausted, super tired. But, um, you know, in the days that I've been you know, staring at this box, I've been putting good vibes into this box. And the box topper is in perfect condition. We did see some instances where the box topper was full, you know, bent up inside it. What I will do for the you know, display purposes, we are gonna put the top up. Let's get that retail display going. Uh, Ultimate Masters, is this the last master set? Allegedly, it is. I find it hard to believe that they're gonna stop doing reprints, so I think they're gonna have a new configuration. But um, for the sake of master sets, this is the third box for the channel. This is gonna be the last one, right? Ultimate box topper is gonna go right here. Um, that's the money card. Basically, I got a pretty good deal on this box. I got about 270 on eBay. Got it kind of early. As of right now, it's about, I think it's been like a week since this has been out. I, honestly, I don't know. Like I said, I'm a little loopy. I don't know how long this has been out for, but I think boxes currently, prices are going up. Um, car, you know, I think it's about 300 bucks, 320 per box. Um, singles have gone up as well. Liliana was about, got down to low as 60. It's, it's, it's right back up to 85 right now. Uh, Cavern of Souls is right back up there. Snapcaster Mage is right back up there. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack this bad boy open. Um, this is an out of pocket box break. So I'm gonna go ahead and savor it. We're not gonna deep dive into the commons, but basically what I'm getting at is this might be an obnoxious box opening. So I'm gonna definitely enjoy myself and uh, we'll just go ahead and see what's inside. Oh my God, Liliana, Karn, Vegivine. Um, I think we just gotta dive in. Let's just go ahead and get started. Now, this is the third Masters break for the channel. Um, we did Masters 2017. It might be the worst Masters box 2017 on YouTube. It was terrible. Zero fetches. We eventually got the Cavern of Souls, which got up to about 100 bucks, maybe like 95 bucks. At the time of this, it's currently about 60, but I feel safe to say that mythic rare lands and these exotic lands that are basically going to every tribal deck, any, you know, just, infinite amount of formats, uh, it's gonna go right back up to 80, 90 bucks. So there's a lot of high-end cards. What I think we're gonna do is just go ahead and uh, get started here. So like I said, I'm not gonna deep dive into the commons, but what I will do is I will kind of go through the uncommons and let's just go ahead and have fun with this uh, box break. So trying the pull tab, and I don't know if I like the pull tab. I don't know. So let me know how you guys did in the comments. I know a lot of people broke this set. Um, I've seen probably about 25 box breaks, obviously a little, way more. And I've seen the full gamut from just insane box value. I think Telerian got up to like seven or eight, seven booster boxes, insane. I've seen total duds as well. So this is the third one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do Pokemon style. So let's see, I think we go like uh, one, two, foil rare. One, two, three, uncommons. And uh, you know, uncommons, let's go ahead and blaze through these real quick. Just nothing too for the first pack will go a little slow. Now we do got a lot of huge popper staples. I'm a huge popper player, so I love the uh, the common cards. Demir Guild Mage, dope. Angelic Renewal, just amazing artwork. Just make sure the focus is in frame. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I won't do that again with the commons, but let's go ahead and slow roll these, you know, on commons. Uh, Dreamscape Artist. <laughs> Swift Reckoning and a Dominaria Garna the Blood Flame. So pretty cool on commons there, nothing too crazy. And let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, this is gonna get weird. I am a uh, little loopy right now, just got out of work, working a 12 hour shift editing video and such. 
all kinds of deadlines. So we're gonna slow roll this and it's gonna get obnoxious. So I usually do 12 packs first, we do a quick intermission and then we'll get right back into the other 12 packs and box topper with the new set. So first foil for the box. Cool, uh, common, we got a lot of rares. We got a lot of, uh, I've seen two to three rare foils per box, a couple of mythics as well. And our first rare, bada boom. Ooh, Golgari Grave Troll, not what you wanna see. So kind of just what I usually do as well. We put the rare on top and we go ahead and lay these out and I will sort later. So that is not a penny sleeve card, but uh, for the people at home, what I usually love to do is these ultra pro card sleeves, penny sleeves. I'm in Las Vegas, kind of, uh, I don't know, I, I do get some card warping, so I'm a huge penny sleeve guy. I will rock the penny sleeve and obnoxiously sleeve all my stuff. Put these over here, let's put these out of frame, actually. And uh, boom, so, all right, so let's go ahead and pick up the pace a little bit. First rare is a dud. Now, Masters 2017 was a dud. First box broken on the channel was, I gotta be honest, was absolutely terrible. Um, I did the Masters 25, Gotta be honest, Masters 25 might be the best Masters 25 box on the channel. Hit the Jace, hit basically every rare that you need. It was an insane box. Um, I did a Masters 2017 off camera. Hit some great hits. I'll throw up the slide right now of the hits I got. Stupid insane. And uh, we'll go ahead and continue back on. So sorry for that. So just quick, just one more so pack number two. Um, just nothing too crazy there. Okay, another Guild Mage. Like I said, I'll check those out as well later. Let's go ahead and not scratch these up. Dawn Charm. Plum Evil and Malevolent Whispers. That's just a gorgeous card, the art on that. Blue, white, and just purples and blues, cyans. I gotta be honest, I would love to see that in foil. Sweet card, and let's go ahead and pick up the pace. Homunculus token, rare. Uncommon Field Hunter, okay. Excuse me, foil, and a rare, mythic. Phyrexian Tower, bang, legendary land. Um, this is definitely one of the cards I wanted to hit. Uh, sacrifice a creature, add two black, tap, love Brea. Insane amount of Thopter Tokes. Phyrexian Tower, works. Dope, love it. Now I know this card is at an all time low right now, so I think it's about 15, 20 dollar card, but it will climb. We're very confident in that regard. Rare is a hit. Pack three. Uh, let me know in the comments how many boxes did you guys get? Um, how many mythics per box, rares? I've seen the full gamut, man. I, I, I gotta be honest. It's a very volatile set. I've seen up to like four foil rares and mythics a box. I, I definitely have seen that. I've seen duds of boxes as well. So uh, here is the three. We're gonna rock the, uh, the Pokemon style. Umbra. Popper. Love it. I know I'm lying. I just I said I'd skip to those a little bit quicker. I, I want to see the Gurmog. You want that Gurmog angler? Uh, Uncommon. Songs of the Damned. Urban Evolution and Swift Reckoning. Basically, in the Uncommon slot, we're looking for like a Kitchen Finks. I know there's a blue card. It's on the tip of my tongue right now. It's like a two three dollar Uncommon. You got the uh, the green Leaf Dog. Like I said, this video is going to get a little embarrassing because I'm a little just like super tired right now. But I feel the emotions are super high, so it's going to get it's gonna get crazy, so. Rare. Pattern of Rebirth, okay. Don't hate it, it's a commander playable card. Enchant creature, when enchanted creature dies, that creature's controller may search their library for a creature card, put that onto the battlefield, then shuffle their library. I do have a mono green EDH Ronus deck. I think that uh, might slot in there, maybe. Pretty good card. With the Therese Nielsen, beautiful artwork. I know a lot of people on Twitter were saying this is the uh, Therese Nielsen master set. Uh, she totally just killed all this artwork in the set, so. Don't hate that card, it's about three, four dollar card. 25 cents, 20 bucks, three, four dollars. And you know, usually the, uh, the graphics are accompanying this, so uh, everybody at home knows what's going on there. So let's go ahead and slow that up, boom. Let's go ahead and do one, two, three, one, two, three. Shout out to the Pokemon crack packers out there. We'll rock the uh, Max Mofo style. I'm just gonna put those towards the back. And uh, let's kind of blaze through these real quick. Uncommons, you know, just the huge, the huge, nothing too crazy. Lava Spike, one red, that's the one you want. Lava Spike, uh, Lava Spike deals three damage to target player or planeswalker for one red mana. Awesome. Hero of Lenia Tower, Rally of the Peasants, and Foil Token. That was not really dramatic, but uh, 
Repel the Darkness, and our rare mythic, uh, Talran Sky Summoner. That's bottom of the barrel bulk. That's a merfolk though, so for all the merfolk heads out there. Shout out to uh, Fishing the Merfolk podcast. I'll send this to you guys if you want it. Um, I don't play merfolk. I tried a standard merfolk brew, but um, it didn't really work out. I don't know. I gotta rebuild it. I gotta, I gotta revisit that. So Talrand, Sky Summoner. I'm sure it's a fine playable card, but you know when you break these boxes, you're looking for value. That's not quite there. So Zombie Toke will go one, two. Bada boom, Toke on the back. One, two. I'll probably do it a different way. This is a little obnoxious, right? But we'll get there. We'll get there, guys. Like I said, I'm just, I just want to have fun here. I'm having a good time. Hopefully you are, too. Check out the channel. Uh, started dipping our toes into Keyforge. I gotta say, love, love me some Keyforge, man. Shout out to uh, Pappy Popper. Uh, we did a Twitter game, a kind of a old school kind of, you know, back and forth game. And it, 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 it was a lot of fun. Keyforge is legit. Please check it out. So here we go. R uh, foil. Phil Common, think twice. Nothing too crazy there. And a rare slash maybe mythic. Rare. Whew, sublime Archangel. Mmm. Mmm. Nope, don't like it. Don't like it. I got a mono white janky EDH Audric Angels Brew. I don't know if that goes in there. Four mana. Damn, 50 bucks in. 50 packs, excuse me, five packs, $10 each. Maybe more, 12 bucks a pack. Not, uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I think we're due. No Mythics yet, that's huge. No Foil Rares, that's better. We got the Phyrexian Tower, it's not terrible. And uh, what we'll do is we'll kind of go like this. One, two, three, I think I like this a little bit better. One, two, three, just blaze through. I know Frantic Search is Dece. Kodama's Reach is excellent. Eel Umbra. Crushing Canopy is playable. Commons are Dece. Uncommons. Miraculous Recovery. Sleight of Hand. There it is. Sleight of Hand in one blue. Look at the top two cards of your library. Put them into your hand and the other on the bottom of your library. Put one into your hand. Okay. Yeah. Buried Alive. Good card. I like Buried Alive. And let's check out the foil. Common. Unholy Hunger. Lily. I mean, the artwork's pretty, uh, pretty awesome on that one. Not bad, not bad. And rare. Magus of the Bazaar. Oh, okay. All right, guys. All right, 60 bucks in. I'm glad we got all the shit out of the way. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe a dollar card. I don't know what that is. 25 cents, $3, 25 cents. Karn, give me some luck. I don't know. Um, I might wait after, maybe to the tax season. I think I might try to get one more box just because whether I open the box depends on how good this is, but I'm definitely gonna try to get one more box, like I said, around tax season, so. Ugh, man, I'm not feeling great. I gotta be honest, it's not feeling amazing right now. Not feeling amazing right now. Mimicking Slime, I know that's a new popper card. But hey, when, we, when you pay two seventy a box, Popper is an afterthought, right? So let's go one, two, three. Let's check out these uncommons. And scuff those corners up. Shriek Maw, that's a fun card. Ghoul Steed, Zombie Horse. Always appreciate those, right? Sigil of the New Dawn. You know. You know. You know how it goes. All right, Elemental. Token, and a rare. Laboratory Maniac. Awesome foil card. Now I know before this... Uh, printing, I think this was like an eight to ten dollar card. Offhand, I don't know how much this is, but I think it's about a ten fifteen dollar bill. It's good, right? And a rare. Life from the loam. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Excuse my mouth, guys. Um, wow, nice. I love that card. I almost bought this card um, when the full release. Let me get my thing up here. Yeah. So when the set got spoiled, I decided not to buy this card. This is about thirty bucks beforehand. I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but I do have a mono green. Ronas, just an aggro, just land, insane deck. Dude. Dude! Breaking out sleeve number two. Finally. Love it. And sleeve number three for the Lab Maniac. Dope. Life from the Loam. I feel like that can get back up to 25, 30 bucks. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Good news? No mythics. 
so we got a lot of hits coming our way. At least two. Uh, the least amount I've seen is two. The most I've seen is about four. Um, not including work foils, potentially, so uh, we got a lot of room to grow here with this box. So let's go ahead and go one, two. One, two, three. Let's try something new here. One, two, three. We'll go that in front of there. And then, um, boom. Let's just get rid of these columns real quick. Give me some, uh, give me an angler. I want a Gurmog. Nope. No angler. Let's go ahead and check out the Spark Elemental token. It's a token. 10 cents. I don't know how that happened, but um, awesome. Seb McKinnon. Uh, Ver uh, Vengeful Rebirth. I gotta say, I did not play Magic in the beginning of time, uh, but I feel this card calls back to that era. Beautiful, just abstract artwork. I love it. I would love a foil. I know it's monetarily speaking, 25 cents. I might buy one after the fact, but I just love that artwork, so. Common, Penumba Worm, Darkmoor Salvage, and Dark Dabbling. Regenerate target creature, draw a card. No comment on the Tassiger. I know Tassiger is a playable card. Um, you know, when you buy a booster box, when you're buying sealed product, playable, it's an afterthought, right? We want value. No Mythics. $80 in. I gotta be honest, if I spent $80 and bought eight packs, I would be very unhappy right now. However, we got the box topper. We got some Mythics left. Let's ride this bad boy. Let's ride this bad boy out. I'm so happy right now. If you go back and watch the Modern Masters 2017 video, I think I was defeated at this point. I don't know if it's because I had a few, a couple drinks. Um, Phyrexian Tower is dope. Life from the Loam is good. You know, it is what it is, right? This is a gamble, ladies and gentlemen. We're all aware of the singles market. I feel like right now is the time to buy said singles. Um, you definitely, oh, look at that. I didn't, I didn't see it. If you did, don't tell me what it was. Um, yep. So let's go ahead and check this out. Penumbo Worm. But yeah, like I was saying, singles, time to buy right now, man. Um, all time low for some of these staples. I think like Phyrexian uh, Altar was like 15 bucks. I need that for Brea. Need it. I think it's like a $50 card, right? Blast of Genius, Rise from the Tides. Beckoning Apparition and Never played this card, I think it's, I hear it's pretty good. Uh, Tribal Enchantment, it's an Eldrazi Aura. Enchant Creature, Enchanted Creature gets plus 10, 10 and has Trample and Annihilator too. Whoa, whoa. Actually, it's a playable card. I'm not going Ronas. I think it's like a $10 card, so I'll just leave it. Man, I don't know. I don't know guys, halfway through the box, I'm not loving what I'm seeing so far. Oh, oh, really? Where you at, baby? All right, let's move it. Let's keep it moving. It's gonna get embarrassing. Let's go ahead and embarrass ourselves to the maximum. One, two, three. One, two, three. So yeah, boom. Bang. Boom. Either snipe. Profit. There it is, the first angler. I mean, it kinda is what it is. Very cheap, just everywhere type of card, but I don't have too many, so those are always fun to get. All right, here we go. Halfway through, oh, I don't know. First half of the box might be trash, guys. I don't know. Desperate Ritual. Caretaker. Travel Preparations and Foil. Damn it! No! No! I know it's like a $5 card. I believe before reprinting, that might've been a $10 card, the Foil version. Not what you want to see, guys. That might be a $10 card. Rare. Fuck. God damn it. <sighs> Vexing Devil. A buck. Maybe. Last pack till halftime. I don't know what happened here. Uh oh. Okay, I lied. Two more packs. <laughs> Two more packs to halftime. Let's get the uh, Lily Flush. I feel like we need the Lily Flush. For good luck. <sighs> I 
the old adage, you just buy singles. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I mean, we're only halfway there. Um, halfway, it's like about, oh, God, we, <laughs> oh, man, we're at $120 worth of booster packs right now with these unopened yet. I don't know if we're there. We're a long ways away from where we need to be. Long ways away from where we need to be. Um, I don't know, guys, what do you think? So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, man, 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 man. Fiery temper. Termofic expanse. Why? This is where we start second guessing ourselves. Every card is a, just, you know, is, is a mistake. Why are they printing these cards? You know, host town. Is the bus to host town? Is it boarding? I know the bus is boarding. I don't know if the destination is to host town or to the glory land. Um, you know. You know. I don't know, guys. All right, our foil for the pack. Martyr of Sands and rare slash mythic. Back to basics, dope. I mean, that's a great rare that you want. I believe this card is an all-time low at like 15 bucks. I feel like this card could definitely get back up to 25, $30 range. I know in foil, this card is stupid. Um, almost, I think when this set was first breaking, it was like $180 for the foil, because it's the first time in foil. Therese Nielsen artwork, gorgeous. Love that card. Love it. Very playable. I should probably should read it too. What does it do? Uh, for two and a blue, non-basic lands don't untap during their controllers untap steps. One of my formats that I absolutely adore is Commander. Playable Commander card. Oh my god. Love it. And, like I said, all rares. So no Mythics yet. So I think the saving grace, the reason why I'm not too sad yet, um, I didn't hit any Mythics yet. So I know that there's some value in the box still. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know... Like I said, I'm just like a zombie right now, so this is just kind of embarrassing what's going on. With that, so let's go ahead and get these commons back up on the top. Treasure Cruise. Playable card in the formats that it's still legal. First Treasure Cruise for me though, so I'll take it. Foil. Two and two blue. You may discard an island card and another card rather than pay the spell's mana cost counter target spell. So Popper, allegedly people are freaking out. It's gonna get real stupid right now. Blue, got some more support, you know. Blue's a thing. It always is, right? All right, guys, last pack for the first half of the box. Phyrexian Tower, money card. Back to basics, good stuff. Life in the loam, I love it. Foil flagstones, mm, could be better. Could be better. Foil card, uncommon. Firebank Phoenix. Wait, what are we doing here? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Not foils yet. Not foils yet. There it is. Twins of Martyr Estate is a foil. And rare. Visions of Beyond. God damn it. God damn it. Okay. What does it do? This before we kind of just complete. I mean, gosh. Therese Nielsen. Visions of Beyond. Draw a card. If a graveyard has 20 or more cards in it, draw three cards instead. Commander, I mean, a lot of people I know in my meta play Mill. You're basically discarding a lot of cards. You're constantly sacrificing a lot of things. Graveyards are full. Very playable card. All right, so what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and take a break. I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve up my rares. I'm gonna put a stack out and we'll do pack two, excuse me, half number two uh, right now. We need some cash. No mythics, they're all right here. Lily, after the break. And we are back, half the box down. Gotta be honest, um, if there was no box topper, if we would have hit some mythics, it would be doom and gloom. I think we only broke even on three packs. Life of the Loam, Phyrexian Tower, uh, back to basics, uh, Flagstones Foil. I mean, Jesus, for half the box, we're at like, you know, $140 worth of booster packs. I think we got like about $50, $60 worth of rares and, you know, mythics. So that's not where you want to be. That's kind of definitely not where you want to be. But we have some great news, guys. Uh, like I said, one foil rare. Um, we got a few more left in the tank. We got the box topper going for us. We got no mythics yet. So potentially there could be four mythics in here in the remaining 12 packs. That's insane odds. Uh, let's continue on. So, um, all right. 
Like, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of where kind of like reality starts setting in a little bit. Are we on worst booster box on YouTube territory? I gotta be honest, we're in the, we're definitely in the running. We're definitely in the running. If we swing and miss in these mythics, it's gonna get pretty grim and I'm gonna get pretty sad. So, <laughs> uh, you know, so we'll go one, two, one, two, three with the uncommons there. Let's get rid of this, you know, the toke. We know the toke is there, right? Let's go ahead and just see real fast, anything, no, no, boring stuff. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll check those out later. I'm a popper player. I'm happy for that stuff, but guys, let's get some freaking hits. Miss Field Plains, Golgari Thug, Anger, Foil, Common, Archeomancer, all right, and let's go full screen on this bad boy. Foil, Rare or Mythic, no Foil, right? Mythic. Yes! Okay, that's good. Ah. Okay, that's like a $20 mythic. Temporal manipulation, three and two blue. Take an extra turn after this one. Very playable card. Um, probably middle tier mythic, not gonna lie. Middle tier mythic. Not what you wanna see when you got that stack of shit right there. But uh, continue on. Pack number one, mythic one down. Lily number two. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's getting weird, it's getting nervous. The mood in the room got a little, you know, it's getting it's getting quiet. I get I can definitely hear my heartbeat right now. Oh gosh, man. Come on, need some hits. Big time hits. Big time hits. Commons, you know, this is what it is. Morang River Prowler, Uncommon, Bore Umbra, Toke. Foil. Common. Common foil. Hooting mandrels and one, two, three. Boom! 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 Yes, there it is, baby. Tarmogoyf! Bang! Yes! That'll make you fucking feel good. Goyf! New art goyf. Edges are perfect. Centering his tits. Love it. Damn! Damn! There we go. Two mythics in a row. Um, Goyf! Dude, that new art is pretty tops, right? Uh, for the, you know, the people at home that don't know magic, I don't know why you're watching this video, but this is like a 80, you know, it's $80 bill, for sure. It's like 50 bucks right now, but it's going right back up to the top. Love it, Goyf! Dope! Yes! Okay, I feel good now. I feel nice! Man! All right, now just kind of juice up really good. That's my second Goyf. Definitely want to build, uh, you know, I'm only about three years in. Definitely want to build some modern. I think I might build Jund. Um, I love black and green Golgari. I love Liliana. I love the Goyfs. Jund seems like a fun build. I got one veil from a 2017 box a year and a half ago. Um, I think we're almost there. Whew, all right, so it's, it's not, you know, definitely not doom and gloom territory. So I feel great about that hit. Goyf! Dope, love that artwork. Oh man, love it. Okay, we're back. We're back, guys. Feeling good. Commons, nothing too crazy, right? Just Rakdos, you know, I, I love the artwork on that. But uh, who cares, right? Who cares what I like? Mage Ring Network. Brazen sc Scrouge, Scourge. Uh, Kaladesh. Gremlin deck, tribal, Gremlin tribal. Ever a thing? Return to Kaladesh, let's make it a thing. On burial, we got the toke, soldier toke, foil, common, deranged assistance, and Lily number three, booster pack, rare. Woo! Woo! Good card. New artwork through the breach. I gotta say, second half of the box delivering on the value. Bam! Through the breach. You got Emrakul. Uh, Nahiri summoning Emrakul, I think. I, like I said, I've only been playing Magic three years, so the uh, the importance of the artwork, what's going on, um, I, I think it's visually it's, it's awesome, but there's a lot of lore here. And this is a fucking awesome card. Love it! Dope. One, two, three. Bringing the big hits on the second half of the box. Um, I haven't messed around with Splice onto Arcane yet, but I look forward to it, you know? I look forward to it. Second half of the box is sweet. Loving it. One, two, one, two, three. I like the token in front to give us a little break because we're getting a little loosey-goosey right now. 
don't let's see I already screwed it up I already screwed it up okay skyming Aven you know commons are fun right I'm having a good time that's, that's what it's about right like I said, you can all buy these individually. See, my thing is, is I have a very hard time spending more than $25 for a card. I would never buy Goyf. I would want to buy Goyf, but uh, you know, getting it in a booster box with other stuff is always fun. So that's how I justify this experience. Murderous Red Cap, Prismatic Lens, Spirit Karen, Toke, Elemental, Foil, Common, Crow of the Dark Tidings, and Rare, Wall of Reverence. Mm, Defender flying. Mm, not bad. At the beginning of combat, on your end, excuse me, on the beginning of your end step, you may gain life equal to the power of target creature you control. I know it's not Value Town, but it's an interesting card. Almost halfway through the halfway, second half. Two mythics. I don't know if we're due for a third, but um, I mean, if you're gonna get two mythics. One of those being Goyf. Not terrible, not terrible. One foil rare. I think we got some more foil rares in this, right? Let's get some foil rares, guys. Um, bada boom, bada bang. Now I know after the second wave comes out, I don't know how much these boxes are gonna skyrocket. So, like I said, I might try to get one more after tax season, but uh, I don't know. I don't know about this stuff. How many guys? Like, how many boxes are you guys gonna get? I know I've seen a couple people get multiple boxes. Um, you, you, you see these like you know card shops opening like 40 box like just competition breaks. I can't watch those videos. It's just like there's no emotional response. There's no like stakes, right? Um, I'm out of pocket. This is financially irresponsible, and thus you're getting the emotions, right? Unstable mutation. Apprentice necromancer. Some more Kaladesh love. Let's get that toke and rare, potentially maybe mythic. Common. Shed weakness. And I'm gonna go really fast, no slow roll. Boom! Bada boom! Urborg to, uh, Tomb of Yagmoth. Each land is a swamp in addition to its other types. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a value hit. It's a rare, so we're not taking away from our mythics. It's about like a 10, 15 dollar bill, right? Maybe 10 dollar bill. Keep her moving. Loving the goif. I could rest easy with the goif. Um, I think we got some decent hits, guys. We got some decent hits. Still looking for like an altar. For actually an altar would be awesome. I need a mana vault for my deck. I don't know if I want to use up a mana, you know, a mythic slot for that mana vault. I might just buy a single. I could use a Gaddic Teague, maybe a demonic tutor. So there's a lot of value in the rare slot um, without exhausting our mythics first. So let's go ahead and get those dope rares. <laughs> kind of a mess, guys. Kind of a mess. Work hard, play hard, right? Gutter Snipe. Terramorphic. Mining Slime. Dece. Popper Pulls. Dece. Popper Hits. Helioids. Pigroom. Uh, awesome in like Bogle decks. Uh, just fishing enchantments and those unblockable hexproof creatures. Awesome stuff. Counter Squall. I think this is a decent hit. Blue and a black, a Demir. Counter target non-creature spell, its controller loses two life. That's a great card, actually. Very playable, awesome artwork. I mean, sure you can probably buy that for 50 cents to a dollar, but it's fun getting in your box. Mystic Revival. Zombie Toke. All right, guys, we'll slow roll, common. John Avon, Kodama's Reach, foil. Fuck yeah. That's awesome, man. Two in a green. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Reveal those cards and put one into the battlefield tapped. The other into your hand and shelf your library. So this is kind of playable outside of Popper. That's always fun. Rare. <sighs> Dope. Okay. I mean, shit card, 25 cents. But um, let's get these out of the way. Let's get them out of the way. Why am I freaking sleeping that up? Sleeve up the uh, Kodama's Reach. I think it's like maybe eight to ten dollar bill. Who knows? Maybe five dollar bill. All right, guys, six packs left, then box topper. <sighs> All right, so I know Goyf is like 75 to 80 bucks, um, $20 bill, 15 to 20, 120 box. We got like 120, uh, I'm going off the top of my head here. I think I got like 50, 60, and I think we're at 200-ish. 200-ish with the box topper with $60 worth of product left. Not terrible, not terrible, guys. One foil rare, we got some more foils coming our way. 
Let's get obnoxious. Keep it moving. Hit the brakes. One, two. Oh, one, two, three. And those up front. Let's go ahead and rock commons. It's real fast. Let's drop him on the floor. I think we had a few of those. Fecundity. Therese Nielsen. I will stop. Actually, let me pick this card up. Let's, let's, let's be, uh, you know, reasonable adults here. Um, fecundity. Enchantments. Whenever a creature dies, that creature controller may draw a card. Not terrible card. Great card. Uncommon. But, I mean, let's take a second to appreciate this artwork. I love this artwork. Hold on. Just the skull, the flowering. I feel like this would be amazing in foil. Awesome stuff. So we're slow rolling right now. Basically, this is the... Uh, let me just go ahead and take a drink. We're getting close. We're getting we're, we're, we're getting close. So uh kind of savor the last couple packs here. Oh man. Oh man, Chainer's Edict. Hero of whatever that is. Merit Lodge. Flying indestructible uh, indestructible token. I think this is like a $2 toke. Foil rare! Foil rare is coming up, guys. Foil rare is coming up. One, two, three. Ha! Holy tits! Do, 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 do. Demonic tour foil, fuck yeah! Now, as I'm rambling like a made, you know, madman here, let's not get spit on the card. That would be ideal. Fuck yeah! Demonic tutor, are you kidding me? New artwork. I wanted it. It's in foil. I think the base version is like 25, 30 bucks. I know before I entered the set, this was a 60 dollar card. Foil, new artwork, financing opportunities. Ah, oh, love it and. Uh, Demonic Tutor is tits. Love it. Oh my god. Fuck yeah. Dude, I'm happy right now. I feel like at the 270 price point, we're fucking pretty close. Excuse my mouth. Woo! Foil Tutor. Damn! Yes. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I love it. I fucking love it. Definitely love it. We're feeling good. We're feeling pretty good, guys. Uh, the bus is past Hose Town. Uh, host town is in the rear view mirror guys. I think we're very just average right now. Great box is Potentially in the future, you know, not great yet, but <sighs> Love it kitchen thanks um, Before ultimate master spoiler list. I think it's like a seven to fifteen dollar card I don't know the specifics currently like sub a dollar right now. So whether these go back up I know there's, there's some speculating going on in the finance community if you're into that jazz on that card. Oh, dude, love this. Rogue's Passage. That was super... Oh, I totally fucked up. I totally fucked up. Um, Rogue's Passage. Very playable card. Uncommon. In any commander deck. Colorless. Colorless mana. Tap four and a black creature cannot be blocked this turn. Ooh, what did I do? Oh, man, I totally see. Oh, gosh, gosh, guys. See, we're getting a little excited. The Foiled Demonic Tutor totally screwed us up. Boom, get these shitty ass commons out of the way. Let's not like spoil too much here. Oh, common. I think I saw like a foil rare too. I think it's the next pack. Oh, I think this is a good pack. Let's just try to save this pack and save the suspense. Rares right there. So it is a rare. So we will move forward. Kitchen Finks. Lulamog's Crusher. Okay, I thought it was a foil Lulamog. Okay, we're still in it. We're still in it, guys. I don't know what the. F uh, I think it is a rare, right? Mm. Mm, playable. Playable. Is it though for six and three white? I don't know. Flying, it's an angel. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may return target creature card from the graveyard to the battlefield. I mean, it's a very, the text is amazing. Super costly. Um, Audric Angels, she might slot in, but um, you know, mono white commander deck, you're not getting a lot of card ramp. I don't know. I don't know if that's a playable card. I don't know if I love that one. Last three packs. Bada boom. Two mythics. Is this a two mythic box? We got one foil rare? I don't know. We got some a lot, you know, a lot of room to grow. A lot of room to grow. So let's not screw this up. We'll go one, two. One, two, three in the front of those two. Commons in front of those. Um, roll one adept. The umbras are always fun. Good diamonds reach, always fun. Good playable stuff. Um, I'll say out of 24 packs, I expected to see more Bogles. Slippery Bogle, one blue or green, Hexproof. 1-1. One, one. 
face value, what the fuck does this do? But um, enchantments, all kinds of stuff, you can really just beef this guy up. He does stupid things. Bogle's deck. Stay tuned for the, actually stay tuned, it's already out. The uh, Hate and Sold Popper League, uh, Henri built a approximation of the Bogle's deck in popper form, and um, it did work. It was a nasty little deck, so. I was hoping to see more of those. From my boy, Jesper Ensing. Love, love, love Jesper Ensing's artwork. Great stuff. Wild Hunger, Forbidden Alchemy. Let's go ahead and check out that Toke. Ooze, and Foil, Common. Generator Servants, and one, two, three. Ah, oh, man, spoils the vault. Mm, I don't know this card, but this feels like a bulk jank rare. So let me know in the comments, but I'm gonna put that right there. It's not getting sleeved. Final three packs. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God, let's just go ahead and take a minute just to appreciate the Demonic Tuner. Cub and Spit, right? I love that card, holy tits. Um, cheers, Ultimate Masters has been great. Um, you know, let me know in the comments. Is, uh, you know, did you break any? Did you do pretty good? Did you do bad? Will you break more? I feel like this set at 275, you can talk yourself into. Once you get to 350, it's, it's getting up there. It's getting kind of hard to justify, but the hits are there. One foil, rare, or mythic. Let's get it. Let's get that money. All right, guys. So this might be an obnoxiously long video. I really don't give a shit. Like I said, I worked freaking like 14 days, 10 of those days being like 10, 12 hour shifts, five freaking deadlines a day. We're gonna slow roll this bad boy. We're gonna have some fun. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right. Commons. Some Sargers, some Dragons, whatever those are. Some more Umbras are always fun. You throw Umbra on the, you know, on, on the Bogle. Shant Creature gets plus three, three and has Vigilance. Hexproof. You know, you kind of see what's going on there, right? Snake Umbra. Okay. The background light up. And uh, Snake Umbra Enchant Creature is an uncommon aura. Enchant Creature gets plus one and has whenever this creature deals damage to an opponent, you may draw a card. Pretty sweet. Angel of Despair. Who cares? Furnace Celebrations. Check out that toke. And our last of the three rares of the foils. Uncommon. Reviving Vapors. And one, two, three. I'm not even going to say it out loud. There's no comment. No comment. Keep it moving. Two man land rare lands, both of them worse than the one before it. Terrible, terrible stuff. Um, man lands. Now I feel if they would have added the fetches into this box, um, it would have been. I mean, uh, uh, let's be realistic here, right? That would never happen. The value of these boxes would be totally insane. It, it would be stupid. So, um, the man lands. I don't know if that's the land cycle you want, though, right? <sighs> Okay, let's just go ahead and pause on that. Um, the artwork's cool, cool colors, yeah, expensive, nope. Almost got the play set of anglers, so we got three of those. That's always fun. Another foil. Vengeful Rebirth. Boy Seb McKinnon, just doing that dope artwork. Furnace Celebration, become immense. Hopefully I will become immense at these rares being foil in the next pack. So we got our toke and one, two, three. <sighs> Arena athlete. One foil rare? Fuck no, man. I think only, oh, I'm stupid. Okay, the demonic tours. We did get the second one. Gosh, no, no mythic foil? No mythic foil? No mythic foil? Platinum Imperion. Oh, man. Ah, it's a five dollar bill. I literally bought one of these probably about two, three months ago for like 18 bucks. So that kind of hurts, right? Ah, man. It's not the golem you want. Jeez. All right, last pack, guys. We got our three mythics. We got our two foil rares. We got some decent hits. Foil demonic tutor. Goyf, temporal. We got some value. It's hard to complain too much. I'm pretty happy. Box software still to come, so. One, two, one, two, three. I feel like there could be either a mythic or foil. I feel like there should be either or in here. 
No planeswalkers, that would be awesome. Give me a planeswalker. Alright, let's get quiet. Let's get weird. And final pack of the box. Common. God. Two foil rares. No foil mythics. Not where you want to be. And sometimes I like doing this. I'll, I'll show you kind of like a little behind the scenes. Sometimes I go like this. Sometimes I'll go like that. And then sometimes I will go like boom. Bridge from below. Damn. It's like a ten dollar bill. It's like a ten dollar bill. All right, here he is. Here we go, guys. Seems to be in perfect working order. Now, before anything happens, before I even get into this mother, um, we did get one. We went for the ultimates, uh, the mythic edition guilds. I got a free one, right? I got the. Uh, can't even think right now. Um, Eons Torn, Emrakul, excuse me, blah, brain fart. Emrakul, Eons Torn. It was a decent free hit, right? Free hundred dollar card, hard to complain. So I feel like this is just kind of like, um, just like extra, right? I don't know before this card where we're at. I'm not gonna even look at the reflection. Sometimes you can spoil it from the inside foil, seeing it on the inside. All right, here we go, guys. Foil box topper, masterpiece. Actually, hold on. Cheers. I'm gonna go ahead and take another drink right here. Drum roll. One, two, three. I don't even wanna do it. I kinda don't even wanna do it. I've been staring at this box for like five days. And one, two, three. Boom! Boom! Holy tits! Oh my god, get the fuck out of here. Oh man! Jesus Christ! Oh! Dude! Dude! Oh my god. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Holy shit! Shit! Oh my god. Oh my god. She is fucking beautiful. Holy shit! Liliana, Liliana. Hold on, I just gotta go grab something real quick. For my bae. It's gonna get stupid right now. So I got the, uh, the unofficial Argyle artwork. Oh, dude. Bae. Are you effing kidding me? Are you kidding me? I would, oh, dude. Dude, 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 dude. Success! Ladies and gentlemen, holy shit. Thank you for watching. I am gonna go just run around the block real quick. I cannot believe this. I cannot fucking believe this. Oh, no, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Oh, oh my God. Thank you, baby. Jund, here we come. Um, so this is my second Liliana of the Veil. I don't know I, if I have it in me. I, I don't know if it's in my being to sleeve this up and shuffle this fucking thing, but uh, holy shit. Oh. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, wow, wow, great box. Great box, I'm embarrassed. Uh, Liliana the Veil, Foil, Demonic, Tudor, Platinum, Imperion. It's a shit card, but I'll take it. It's not a shit card, it's a $5, it's like a $20 bill. Goyf, Lily, Foil, Demonic, Tudor. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you for tuning in. Guys and gals, uh, thank you for watching this obnoxious video. We got the loan, loan for Ronas. I am just through the fucking moon. Oh my God. Oh my God, um, yeah, I I'm speechless. So thank you for tuning in, uh, Young Corpse TV. You can find me on Twitter, at Young Corpse TV. This might be a 40 minute long video. I don't give a shit, but um, thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned, and I will catch you guys on the next video.